are you thinking, I had a spiritual awakening, now what? Sophia Persephone here, I'm going to talk about what to do when you've had a spiritual awakening. Now the first thing to say is, when we think we've had a spiritual awakening, what we've actually had typically is our epiphany, our spiritual awakening epiphany, which I talk about in another video, so there should be a link somewhere up here that you can click. Um, it's the moment that we realize that there's more to life than this, and then we enter a phase called connection, where we're intensely linked to the universe and our guides, and we have lots of otherworldly experiences, and we basically become aware that we're awakening. We step into our conscious awakening. So when we say, I, I've had a spiritual awakening, really what's happening is we've had the epiphany or we're in this very intense connection phase. In fact, your spiritual awakening started a long time before that. If you've spent time doing inner work or you have become interested in spiritual matters, which can include things like metaphysics or quantum mechanics, things like that, or you st started spending a lot of time in nature or you've taken up creative hobbies all of that is part of the spiritual awakening process because it's helping your soul to integrate with its higher self and that is the the goal of spiritual awakening that's what it's all about we're reintegrating so so when you think I've had a spiritual awakening, really what's happened is you've had your epiphany or you're in the connection phase. So that means you're about a third of the way through. The epiphany is stage three, the connection is stage four. I call them stages, they're not necessarily linear, they can happen in different orders, but roughly speaking, you are about a third away, a third of the way through the process. So so the question is, you've had a spiritual awakening, a spiritual awakening so now what? So the first thing you need to understand is that you have got at least a couple more years to go but you have done sorry it's Morris hello Morris um, but you this really sort of intense roller coaster period that can go on for quite a few months um, epiphany and connection that's that's in a way is sort of the the most disruptive bit so you're through um, you're through the kind of really crazy times uh, but you do have another another couple of years to go. Now, meditation is your friend throughout the entire awakening process because if you meditate, what you are doing is you are integrating your conscious mind, your soul, with your super conscious mind, your higher self. And as I said, that's the entire purpose of the awakening process. So meditation daily is an absolute must. If you, if you really are struggling to tolerate it, just five minutes a day, third eye meditation, I'll link you to a video, that is enough. Um, but if you want to accelerate this thing, you want to get through some of it more quickly, or you want more access to your guide so you can get more information to tell you what to do next, then meditate as much as you can. And, um, you know, anything, third eye meditation, nothingness meditation, guided meditation, grounding, um, doing something creative where you get into flow, all of these things count. So just do as much of that stuff as you possibly can. Now, there's one thing more that I really want to say about this. So if, you, if you've had your spiritual awakening, i.e. your epiphany or your in connection phase, at some point you are going to hit the dark night of the soul, the spiritual dark night of the soul, which is stage five of awakening. Now, this is a really important stage of awakening. We all go through it. It's something we just have to do. But what often happens is we hit that stage all connection cuts out, it's the dark night, so there's, the, you know, it's blank, it's black. Um, and we start to question all of the experiences we had previously. We think we had a psychotic break, um, you know, we had a moment of madness, it's all just nonsense, I've imagined it. It's not true, it's not the case. Everything you have experienced in the early stages, the epiphany, the connection, is correct. Your experience is correct. There is way more going on in 3D reality. This is just one of 13 dimensions. Um, and you know, you you will you will start to question. So what I would like you to do is try to hold on to the memory of this video. Please, when you hit that stage, say to yourself, ah, I'm in the dark night of the soul. 
I've actually written a book about the Dark Knight of the Soul, so I'll put a link to it somewhere uh, or in the description because you you can get through it and you can get through it quickly. You can actually get through the Dark Knight of the Soul in, in just three or four months. Um, they're three or four crappy months, but but you can do it. But you need you need to know what to do. So please remember that when you hit the dark night of the soul. Yes, you had a spiritual awakening. No, you didn't imagine it. Once you're out of the dark night of the soul, you'll see all the connection will come back. Then you're in, then you're in, you've just got two more phases to go through before you, you, you're transcended. You've, you've completed the kind of, uh, the nuts and bolts of the awakening journey. So I hope that helps. You had a spiritual awakening. Now what? Uh, meditate. Look out for the dark night of the soul and be prepared to be on this, this journey for, a, for, for at least a couple more years. What's at the end is magnificent. You can create the reality that you dream of. Um, and who doesn't want to do that? Mm -hmm.